Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to take a look at order forms. And what we have to do when we come in, I already created a funnel and I set up one step, which automatically happens when you set up the funnel. And it automatically defaults to an opt-in page type. And I've done this a million times where I just come down and I pick my blank template, which I have a blank template that I made for every single page type. And I'll just click on that and I'll just start going and then realize, oh, wait, I'm not in an order form type. So just be careful when you come in here and come over to sales and you're gonna see we got six different options for sales. The first two are really, basically, they're really no different than the opt-in type. The only difference is they have a bunch of templates made in here for you and the product launch templates. You can see here they all have like three or four videos across the top. And then what you do is you just move people from one video to the next video to the next video. But what we wanna look at here today is the order form, the one-click upsell, also known as an OTO, or the one-click downsell. And in this first video, we're just going to look at the order form itself. So we'll click on the order form. And again, they got a whole bunch of templates in here for you to choose. But again, I'm just going to grab a hold of my blank template and put that in. And that's what we're going to start with because we're just going to build out some basic order forms. And we're just going to click on edit and go right into the page. And as always, we're going to have to start off by putting in a new section. So we'll just put in a full width section. And then we're just going to drop in a row. And let's put in a two-column row because normally you have your order form on one side or the other of the page. So we'll just kind of keep it consistent with how this is normally done. And then we're going to click on Add a New Element. And here, because we are in the order form type, we have these eight different items that we can use to put inside of our order form. Now, you will see in here we have the order select with inventory and the two-step order with inventory. I shot a separate video on that showing exactly how to use these elements. So we won't go through that in this video. Just look for that one um, in the uh, in CF Ninja Hacks or Quick Start Blueprint, wherever you happen to be. Now, with an order form, it has to have two items in it in order to work. One is a credit card, and the other one is the email address. Without either one of those two, it's not going to work. And then, of course, you also need a button in order to be able to activate it. So let's take a look here. Oh, and before I go any further, with the Apple Pay, that's something that you actually set up inside of your Stripe account. So I have a video on that of setting up the Stripe account as a payment gateway. And right in there, it shows exactly what to do. It's just basically you click one button and you can turn on Apple Pay, Apple Pay, Android Pay, whatever it is, for any one of your sites. And then all we have to do is drop that as an element into our page here. And then when somebody's on a mobile device, instead of inputting their credit card, they just tap on the Android Pay, and then it's just all done right within their phone because they had the Apple Pay or Android Pay set up on their phone. So let me show you how simple this is to set up a form. And before we do that, let's just make this look like a regular page. So let's just add a new section up here at the top, and we'll just call it a one column row, and we'll put that in there. And then we will just add a headline element, just so, like I said, it kind of starts looking more like a regular page would. And then over here on the left-hand side, let's just say we got a, a video over here, so we'll drop in a video. And then now we can start building out our form, and let's just put a little bit of a subheadline ahead of it, telling people what to expect below. So now the first thing you normally want to put in is your order select. So we'll put in the order select here first. We'll just drop that in, and I did that wrong. Let's try this again. Let's just double click on it. And so now we have our order select. So when somebody comes in here, let's say you have three different products available, they would just come in and click the button of the product that they want. Then normally below that, let's put in our email address, which we have to come down to our inputs down here. We'll double click on that. 
And let's just set it up right away because what we have to do is we have to set this to an email address type, which automatically makes it required. And we'll just leave it as your email address here. So the next element we need to put in is going to be our, where is it, our credit card element. And we will put that in so people can enter their credit card information. And then normally at the bottom, right above the button, you normally will put in yourself an order summary. So we'll put in the order summary, and then below that we will put in a button, because you always need a button to be able to submit the form, and then when the form is submitted, it will store the email address in the contact database. It'll create a new one if that email address doesn't exist, or it will append this information to it if it does. And then, um, and then so we'll put in the button, and... We're not going to, again, we're not getting fancy here. We're just working on how to set up an order form. With none, of the, none of the fancy stuff, none of the design stuff at this point. And all we want to do is just put in submit the order when it is done. So somebody's going to come in. Well, actually, let's just save this and we will go live with it. But we don't have any products. So let's see actually what it's going to say here. Uh, probably maybe it'll say dynamically updated because we have no products set up yet. So yeah, so that's how we're going to have at this point here is it's going to say that it's dynamically updated and there's no price and there's no order summary down here either because there's nothing to show at this point. But you get the basic idea of how this, what they call a one-step order form is set up. So now let's do this all over again by creating an entirely new section below it. And this time we're going to look at setting up a two-step order form, which is basically just one element inside of ClickFunnels that we can easily just pop into place and do a few settings on. So let's see here, let's get a two column row. And again, we will put in a video on the left hand side just to make it look like it normally would. And then on the right hand side, and let me do something here. Let me put a bunch of padding at the bottom so that we can scroll down on the page a bit. Okay, now we can scroll down. And now we're going to add a new element. So, so far we put in our credit card element. We could have put in our Android Pay. All we have to do here is just drag that up and drop it in and it will then activate on a mobile device. We have our order select. We haven't looked at the order bump yet, but we also use the order summary. So, and I said the two inventory ones, that's a totally different video. So all we have to do here is set up our two-step order form. We just one click and it puts in the entire order form as you see it here. Now let's go in and edit it. So we'll click on the gear icon and you can toggle back and forth here which one we're going to look at. Are we going to look at the one step or the two step? And it'll toggle you back and forth. So let's start off with the one step and it says hide step one settings. And we can click on this or show the step one settings. So that's what we want. Let's just click that off again. So we just click on this and we'll show the step one settings. And let me scroll back up on my screen here a little bit. Wanted to scroll to the top as soon as I changed it. So we got our headline up here is shipping. You can change that. And where to ship the book. Obviously, if you're not shipping a book, you want to change this here. Where to ship, uh, well, let me see here. Um, okay, we're looking for an address. Let's just change it to t-shirt. So let's say we're selling some t-shirts. So where to ship the t-shirt, you can change that right there. And then again, full name, email address, phone number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down as you can see right here on the screen. Now let's go into advanced and a couple things in here. It says toggle the phone number. So let's say we don't want to collect a phone number. And most of the time, I don't think you're going to want to. And we want to show her high shipping. Well, if we're only doing a, you know, email, I mean, not an email, a digital product of some sort, or we're selling a membership site, something like that, we may want to hide the shipping. So we will go back and show the shipping again. And then we can show an order bump or not. But actually, I don't know why that would be on this first page, unless... Well, I guess this is for uh, this is for both uh, the first step and the second step. So this would show the order bump on the second step, and then we got form, the style. I mean, everything you can work on here. The button size, 
whether it should be aligned left, aligned center, which I don't know. I've never seen anything aligned center. So you can change the colors. You can change the icons. Right now there's no icons. Here we can put in an icon into the button down at the bottom, or we can click back to no icon. So let's go back into our settings and let's hide the step one settings. And now we will show the step two settings and we have to go up here and we have to tell it to show us step number two. And we got the step two settings open already. And so here we go again. Let me see here. It keeps scrolling down on me. So we'll go back into the step two settings. Show step two settings. Okay, so we have, but it's not showing step two. So it keeps going up to the top. So at the top up here, I can't scroll up once I once this opens. It says your info, and then you got um, the subheadline up top again would be your billing info. Again, that's right up here at the top. And then let's see here. Um, select item next is item, would be right here. Item, and then price is right here. You got your credit card number, your CBC. So basically, all this is is what's showing in these blanks. And if you use the form CC, let's see, stripe layout, one field or three fields? Hmm. Okay, not sure what that's doing there for me. Maybe this only happens after you put in a product, but I don't think so. Let me see here, summary, summary item, that's there. The amount is right here. I don't know why they always have it without the capital A. And let's see here. Then we got the bump headline. So, yes, I'll take it. That's the headline right here. And then, oops, what did I just do? Let's try this again. I guess I clicked out, so we'll show step two. So, one-time offer, that's the text here. All this lorem ipsum is all the text here. So, you just build out this form completely, all the text and everything right here. Order complete, or complete order is what it shows on the button. And then let me see here. Button subtext, so there is no subtext at this point. Let's just put in some subtext. Okay, and then you got the little disclaimer down here, which is right here. And then back to shipping text. Edit shipping details. That would be the text right there. And then we got our font family that we can choose. Let's just say we want open sans and button color and I'm sorry, the text color and the button color. And again, back into advanced, everything we already looked at before. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Let's actually do one last thing. Let's come back up here to this order form. And let's say we want to put in that one click upsell here. I'm sorry, the order bump. That's what I meant to say. Let's put in an order bump here. So you can as well put in an order bump right up here in the um, regular one step order form setup. And let's just take a look at the settings. They should be exactly the same as the other. So you can put in your headline, the OTO, the OTO text, and change out all the various colors. And then corner radiuses and whether there's a border and a shadow and all of that right in here so it's really quite simple it's basically with the top part up here you have to just build that out with a, basically it's building blocks biggest thing you got to remember is email address and the credit card and a button it won't work without those three and then you can put in the order bump if you want and for the two-step it's simple just go through look at every single blank fill everything out and that should be it so if you liked this or any of my videos make sure you click down here in the bottom right hand corner and if you have any questions feel free to reach out have a great day